talking tech a day early today. Usually Mike Yanni joins us on a Wednesday, but we've got the new iPhone, iPhone 12 coming out on Friday, and he's got his hot little hands on two models. Mike, welcome back, and tell us the uh, skinny on the new iPhone. Thanks, Sor. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting having both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. I've been putting them through the paces over the last week, so I want to talk about some of the features, what's there, what might be missing. And first, I've got to show you, I, got, I love the new design. First of all, I love this Pacific Blue. This is probably my favorite. Uh, Apple's changing the design, kind of going back to old school. You'll see that there's no more rounded corners. It's kind of back to those squared off edges. Mm. And I gotta say, holding this in your hand, it actually feels really good. I kind of like going back to, uh, to the way it used to be with the iPhone. It's weird to get excited about the screen, but I kind of am excited about this, Thor. So, it's an issue with me. I always at some point have change in my pocket and I throw my phone in and I forget about it and it happens. The phone gets scratched right. up. So Apple teamed up with Corning this time to create something they're calling, it's not glass on the front, they're calling it ceramic shield. Basically it was a specialized crystallization process that Apple claims is much more resistant to scratches and if you were to drop it, and I gotta say I did not drop it over the last week thankfully, it's four times more resistant to breakage and cracking if you were to drop it. For me, that's a huge plus. I will we'll see over time if that really is the, okay. the way it is. So okay. that's the that's In not the pro. The pro's the red one. The no, that's the 12. This is the pro. The pro, the pro is the the blue one here. Okay. It's got the three cameras. And I'll get to right. cameras in one moment. Um, processing wise, it's got the A14 Bionic chip. I can talk over your head and talk tech specs. I won't get into that. You just need to know, it's blazing fast. It's it's a seriously fast processor. Uh, downloading, launching apps, it's a breeze. Now let's get to the cameras. That's what one of the features that people really care about when it comes to the camera. Between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro, the biggest difference, the 12, the the pro rather yeah. has the extra telephoto lens of course so I went out and took some pictures and I'll admit it's been snowy and gloomy over the last week here so I did my best to capture some colors with it so we'll bring up a couple of the photos the first one I want to bring up is some leaves I found on top of the snow some really nice detail in the snow you can see the individual kind of flakes there yeah. and the color I kind of like was vibrant uh, the next one I want to bring up is uh, photos of the trees I just want to show contrast between kind of the dark bark and that you know with that light background uh, you can take stunning photos with this and on top of that dark mode which is interesting the iPhone 11's brought back you can take really great photos in low light now I'll bring up a couple there's a, a skeleton owl that my daughter had so Creepy. I took it in the basement next to no light Thor okay at all there was just a sliver because it was in the basement and yet it illuminates the iPhone's able to bring up details in the skeleton the next one is the suit of armor that sometimes shows up in my my uh, shots behind when I chat with you um, the, once again no light in that room taken at night just a sliver of light from an, a landscape light outside of all things that's awesome it really great Really well, really sharp. Yeah, good depth there too. Right, it's impressive. So cameras, I mean, once again, solid cameras on both iPhones. One other quick uh, feature I want to point out: MagSafe. They introduce so basically it's a, a array of magnets on the back, and if you get the MagSafe charger, what it does is it will do a click. Look at that. No way. It sticks right on there. If you want to wirelessly charge. This automatically lets you know you've got the connection, you'll get that charge, you don't wake up overnight and realize, oh, I didn't get a charge because it was just slightly off. I do want to point out a couple things, Thor. One thing that's missing is the newer, faster refresh rate on the screens, 120 hertz I refer to it as. Some of the new flagship phones have that. Apple didn't go with that, but honestly, if you didn't see it, it doesn't make a difference. It usually makes for smoother animation and better scrolling, but you won't notice that. The other thing too, missing from the box, they don't have a power brick and no headphones anymore. Apple says that it's for environmental reasons. Draw your own conclusion why they took it out. But in all honesty, you get the cable to charge. You probably have a brick from your old phone anyway, so not really a big deal. Overall, Apple focused on the basic features that people want, speed. Of course, 5G is huge. Um, 5G, I tested out about six times the speed of regular. That's on all the iPhones. They focused on the features that people want and okay. not the flashy features that a lot of people have on flagship phones that you don't necessarily need. All right, Mike, we really appreciate that preview and people can get those on Friday. Thanks as always for your time. Thanks, Thor. All right, you enjoy your new gadgets there. That's Mike Yanni, our resident tech expert, and Mary has